Well, we're sailing across Sandy Bay. Pretty gentle conditions. Not sure what the wind speed would be, but we're only doing about three knots. In a minute, I'm going to tack and head up upwind to Dalai Island, which is there. Heading towards the Dell Island on the other tack now. So, okay, my homemade sail isn't the best. It's got a bit of a leech hook there, which on my next go I'd really like to get rid of. The leech hook's not very efficient. Uh, but other than that, you know, it's getting me round. I'm getting about. It's all good really. So this is uh, this is just great sailing. It's just a nice gentle breeze. And uh, I've got all the time in the world just to get over here. Well, we're um, sailing in uh, Tasman Bay off Anchorage. I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to go to um, Bark Bay or not. But anyway, the, uh, the wind's got up and I've got the tiller locked just at the moment, which means we're not going maybe as quick as we could. Um, but however, I'm now sailing with the hatch closed because uh, there's quite a bit of, um, you know, water, breaking waves and stuff coming in. But I feel perfectly safe, but, uh, yeah, just as well we can sail inside. I'm in Bark Bay and I want to get behind. to rise and I think I'll be able to set off pretty soon as soon as that yacht there has the water above its lines I think I will go and I'll just ulo through and hopefully have a relaxing night behind there and this is Bark Bay estuary sort of up the back of it, just in the tidal zone. There's Bark Bay out there, so I'll go out there tomorrow morning and head back to Nelson. But in here, I'm just anchored up in this little cove, and it's wonderful. Well, I'm charging along here uh, in the middle of Tasman Bay now. Uh, I don't know what the breeze is. I'm not so good on, on uh, breeze speeds, but I know that I'm doing between four knots and three knots. So let's just say it's an average of three and a half knots that this Paradox is doing currently. Um, I'm sitting inside under the hatch. Uh, my hatch has a little forward gap because I can move it forwards and backwards, so it's quite pleasant. It's quite strong sunlight outside, so I would be absolutely being fried if I was outside. So thank goodness I'm inside sailing. Plenty of air, um, it feels fine. Um, clear perspex, oh well, what do you call it? Polycarbonate. 
um, that's definitely the way to go. Don't get tinted because if you get tinted then you just can't see out of it when it gets spray and stuff on it. But if they're clear like these are, uh, it's way, way better. So it's a bit of a bit of a drag race. There's, um, there's a yacht out there somewhere that you probably can't see, but I, it almost looks as though I'm catching up with them, unbelievably. Although a trailer sailor did pass me before and they left me long for dead. Um, the land over there is, well, who knows how far away that is. Certainly couldn't swim there. Um, perhaps it's uh, five miles, I'm five miles offshore or something like that, I'm guessing. Uh, anyway, I'm doing pretty good here and I think uh, as long as this breeze uh, sticks in, I will be able to get back to Nelson uh, with no problem at all. The only, the only downside of this sailing at the moment is um, I'm getting a bit of a sore backside sitting, sitting, even though I'm sitting on a, um, a, a rug, still, it's still a little bit uncomfortable, but um, at least, you know, I'm dry. I'm dry and I'm just enjoying the surroundings, enjoying the sailing. Well, that's the competition. You probably can't hear it from here, but they are motor sailing. You can see their sails aren't filling properly. The competition gave up and they all started their motors. In fact, I'm now beginning to think that every single person that's passed me must be motor sailing. There's just no way that they could have disappeared and got into port in this time if they were truly sailing. The breeze has died and it's almost imperceptible, uh, but I'm still doing around two knots. So I'm still moving, but you can't hear anything, uh, particularly when the hatch is closed like this. There's just there's no sound at all. But we are moving, doing about two knots, so um, it's pretty boring. But I guess we'll get there in the end. I'll just uh, change this around and um, pan outwards. And you can see that I'm even further away from the land now than I was before. I'm pretty much just sitting right in the middle <laughs> the sea's quite calm and uh, I'm just ghosting well I'm hoping you can see that there's a town out there and that's my destination which is Nelson there's just nobody else out here at all it's totally Totally devoid of life. No motorboats. Nothing. Uh, there's a container ship through there that I'm going to have to keep an eye on later on. I'll get out my um, flashlight because I, I don't know. I really don't know what time I'm going to arrive. I could be. It could be out here right till night time, you know, getting in here at 10 o'clock or something at night. So I'm in the Nelson Marina uh, and it's raining. It's about 11 o'clock or maybe even 11.30 at night. Um, and I've just cooked tea and I've got the hatch closed. And there is lots and lots of condensation. It was really bad initially, but then I realized I could prop up the back of the hatch with my jandals or flip-flops. And you can see that gap there. And that has made a very big difference.